Hey guys, what's up? Oh, okay. Um, I done a live stream, I guess, on Facebook a minute ago, saying I'm coming to the range. I went by Georgia Gun Store, and um, I was in there because it's almost Christmas. So, by the way, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. So, guys, please be safe. Be careful right now. Town is hectic. Stores are hectic. Please be careful if you're out there shopping, doing last-minute stuff like I was. But I was in there, stopped by, and said, um, Mike, I mean, it didn't even take long. Mike goes, I got something for you that you need to shoot. I'm like, ah, oh, what is it? He goes, 500. I'm like, no. I've been wanting to shoot one of these for a while. The Smith & Wesson 500, <laughs> a.k.a. hand cannon. This thing is a beast. It is awesome. Um, it's got an eight inch barrel, eight and a quarter inch barrel, somewhere around there. Weighs about 69 ounces. It's got a rubberized synthetic grip. Feels Actually, it feels extremely well in my hand. I mean, it fits just right. Single or double action. Cylinder is a five round capacity mag. Rear sights, they're adjustable. Um, the front has a muzzle brake on it. So that, uh, trust me, I shot it just a minute ago. I was expecting the worst. And because of, I guess because the long barrel and that muzzle brake made a huge difference. I mean, it it kept the front barrel down. Um, you still, don't get me wrong, still got to hold it with a good grip. If not, you're going to knock yourself out. But she's a flamethrower. She, she's a fire breather. That's one thing for sure. You'll see here in a little bit. We'll try and get you all some good camera angles on that one. But um, it's pretty awesome. The Smith & Wesson 500, I've got, I was calling around, um, I didn't have any in the store, and I was like, oh, man, I really got to do a review on this thing. So I called and called around, and finally I was able to get some uh, some ammo, arm score. These are 300 grain, the XTP, um, arm score precision, 20 rounds for 35 bucks. So I figured come out here, and why not? Um, this thing, oh, I can't believe I finally have one in my hand. And like I said, I shot it and I could feel it. <laughs> so um, I've got some help today. My nephew's helping me out. So uh, nephew, grab the camera. Let's get the viewers a closer look. This right here, the Smith & Weston 500. It's got, like I said, the synthetic rub stock grips. Rear adjustable sights cylinder 500 rounds about uh, 500 it's Smith one's 500 five rounds you imagine that <laughs> if this circuit was 500 round capacity that would be awesome <laughs> but yeah that's um uh, five round capacity it's single or double action there's a muzzle brake This thing is just beautiful, gorgeous. So just so that way y'all can know the size difference. Smith Western 500, nine millimeter. Huge difference, huge difference. Um, and matter of fact, I'll tell you what, compare it to a 38 Special, still huge difference with a 38 Special. So, yes, it's not just an accessory, full function purpose reloader. I got my revolver for my backup. If I'm out, I can dump out, reload, back in action. So, yes, voila. But anyways, we say we um, load this sucker up and try it. All right, guys. Uh. We're about to try the sucker out. Remember, we're at the range. Um, even my little nephews here, they know the rules. They're already set up with earmuffs. Um, eyes and ears, guys. That's my main thing. Safety, safety, safety. Um, my little nephew, I cannot stress enough about that. They, My little nephew, all three of them, they all know when we're here at the range, when I'm out here shooting, automatic guidelines and rules apply indefinite no questions asked um i'm pretty sure you guys will be able to hear them 
Uh, is that correct, guys? Or mm -hmm. yes. About the rules? Yeah. Yes. Okay. See that they know. So. And um. But enough of that. Let's try the sucker out. Again, five round capacity on the cylinder, not 500. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Um, so Smith & Wesson, 500. I'm going to shoot it uh, single action just because I like it better in single action when I'm shooting revolvers. But it is a single and double action. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that was, I was I'm sure y'all saw that. That was a fire breather, so uh, that was cool. Man, woo, that was awesome. Oh, I love this thing. Uh, man, you guys, I tell you what, y'all go pay them a visit. Georgia Gun Store. Um, this one, I believe, goes for eight something there at the store. So, um, Man, this thing is awesome. Uh, I'm grateful that it's got a long barrel because I'm sure the shorter ones definitely pack a wallop. Um, this, what helped me out was the muzzle brake on this thing. It helped keep the gun down and helped with some of the recoil. The grip, also, I was able to hold my hand on it real good and tight and lock my wrist down so that way it'd keep it with the recoil coming up. This thing, I'll tell you what, guys. Y'all go pay them a visit. Georgia Gun Store, Mike Killing Chris. Y'all, there's their website. You'll see it at the end of the video, right there. Uh, GeorgiaGunStore.com. Pay them a visit. Check them out. Tell them the gun nut sent you. Guys, thank you again for the awesome opportunity. Mike Killing Chris, Georgia Gun Store. You guys have given me a great opportunity to be able to do stuff like this. To bring out to the viewers out there. Guys, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Like, share, give a thumbs up. Remember, click on the notification bell so that way you get all the notifications for the videos and everything. Not just gun reviews. Day-to-day um, -day videos I'm gonna start doing as well. Also, I am uh, gonna do from time to time with uh, my good friend Cam and Grant. They're doing uh, Legendary Dads Outdoors. Check out their video or YouTube page as well. Uh, their channel, subscribe and like their channel as well. So um, we'll be doing a collaboration video with them you know from time to time hunting fishing all kinds of outdoor stuff so um, guys again georgia gun store thank you very much this is the gun nut guys i just done a quick review on the smith wesson 500 so guys until next time we'll see what we can shoot up